Okay, if I don't get if I don't get the stun on Shannon, I might she might kill her. Please, please, please. Stun! Yes! That's how you pray, guys. That's how you pray to Arden Jesus. What is up, guys? Fantasy here. I'm finally back. Um, sorry about not making a video for like the longest time, but uh, yeah, I have no excuse for that. <laughs> I literally have no excuse. Um, but I'm back. I'm back, and I'm finally working on this video that. Um, I've been wanting to do ever since um, I've completed TOA this month. I did this last month basically with uh, the old TOA before they revamped everything. Um, this month's TOA is completely different from last month. They changed like all the floors. They even had a new boss for floor 100. Uh, so right now we're, we're going to be going through the, some of the hard, harder floors. Um, people that are struggling at these floors. Um, a lot of them, like in my stream, they 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 ask me to do these floors on stream, and um, you know I, I I run it through and I give them the general strategy. And this is what I'm basically going to do for today. I'm going to be going through floor 50, um, 70, and 80. Uh, these these floors are much harder. I'm not just doing the boss floors. I'm doing the hardest floors. Um, these floors are actually a lot more challenging for most people. Um, so we're gonna get started with 50. This one's the one that most most people are struggling with. It's kind of like the old cult level stage of um, the old cult girl level stage of, of last last month. Okay, actually, I won't auto this. Um, I'm gonna okay, self auto. I run my general strategy. Uh, I'm gonna just slow them down. Try to stun on the first turn. Get get as many of them um, CC and debuff as possible. I'm gonna body slam, uh, you know, get rid of the armor break, really annoying stuff. Don't, don't want any, any of that. Uh, probably should have saved the armor, saved the debuff cleanse, but it's fine. So we're gonna take down. Um, actually, I'm gonna buff up so I can take take more of their damage. Yeah, we're we're just gonna take down this fan of thief over here. Uh, Vermo still still didn't use his stun. Should use your stun. You just stun uses your CCs as much as possible. If you have a AOE despair unit, use your stuns as much as possible. You want to keep your enemies stunned, um, keep them slowed, and keep your team speed buffed as much as possible to ensure that you get more turns, and therefore um, they get less turns, they, they move less, you can stun them more, something like that. Um, yeah, this team is pretty, pretty standard. Uh, it's kind of my old standard TOA team. Um, this month's TO, I pretty much ran this team through every single floor, uh, except for floor 80 and some of the um, 90 floors. I, I didn't run this team, but for most floors, I, I pretty much just ran this team, and I, I was I was able to, to um, complete it. All right, all right. So yeah, uh, Veramos is the is a fusible monster. You can probably swap him out if you have a Beretta or something. Um, but he, he does have uh, his his buff removed. But as long as you have one person remove debuffs, like Konamiya, it should be fine to get you through levels like 70, which requires a lot of um, buff remove or immunity and stuff. So we're gonna stun. We're gonna, we're gonna try to despair stun. It didn't work. Uh, attack debuff, so she didn't hit me as hard. Okay, that was a cool skill. Never seen it before. Alright, I'm going to actually hit this old call girl first. Uh, she, since she's already armor broken, I'll we'll just stack the armor break on her and then finish her off really quick. Uh, most people aren't struggling with this part of the stage. It's mostly the boss stage that, that's that's a lot harder. If you're struggling at this part of the stage, if, yeah, um, yeah, I don't I don't really see you being able to beat this stage. If you're if you're already struggling here. Uh, the boss stage is a lot harder at this part of the stage. So 
so actually we're just gonna we're just gonna get through this really really quickly. Uh, it's probably not that important. Some just just some general strategies. If you're doing TOA, you should probably know these things by now. Um, you want to keep your buffs, you know, your speed buffs and stuff as on you as much as possible. If you have an AOE slow like Shannon, um, like Arya, like um, Spectra, or any of that. You want to keep your slows on the enemy as much as possible so they get less turns. Um, and despair is your friend in TOA. Keeping the enemy stunned as much as possible really, really helps. So we're going to start the fight out with um, my speed buff. This way my, everyone's going first. Um, going to research Bernard. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to um, armor debuff the boss. I mean, attack debuff the boss. I'm not trying to get the armor break on. I'm trying to get the attack debuff. Um, debuff on. The main thing you have to do for this fight is to have a very very strong um, light monster that's really really tanky. Like my Belladon 6 star he has around I think he only has around 20k HP. He's not super tanky but um, you want your light monster as tanky as possible. Is, keep in mind this is just one strategy that I use but it's, um, it's a strategy that a lot of people can use because uh, most people would have raised the Belladon 6 star um, 6 star him by now to do giant speed 10 and you know do dragons and all that um, we're going to armor debuff the boss um, now the easiest way to get through the get through this fight um, is, is to actually kill the beast monster first um, keep your debuffs and stuns you know on, on all your units as much as possible um, keep your debuffs um, especially on the boss this way he doesn't he doesn't hit you as hard with his first skill um, the majority of the damage that is coming out is going to come from the boss's third skill. It does 15% of everyone's max HP. Um, the Sophids do a skill that scale with their HP, 30% of their max HP, and they also have Dot. So uh, it's not that important to attack the of the Sophids since their attack doesn't really scale with their, you know, their, their bonus attack. Um, it scales with their HP and it scales with, uh, you know, scales with Dots, like Dot, if they do Dot damage. So I'm going to armor deep, armor break this beast monk. I'm going to try to stun as many as possible. If you're really, really lucky. Um, you'll have one of the sylphid stun and and one of them not stun. Um, this way, they don't use all their burst on the same turn. And I'm going to put more uh, put more dots on the on the beast monk. I'm going to try to stun again with my um, with my Shannon. Try to slow them down. Okay, she actually didn't use her nuke skill, uh, which is pretty good for me. Well, actually, it really doesn't matter. Um, yeah, you just you just want to make sure they don't use their burst all on the same turn. Since the boss already used his burst, it means the only incoming burst is from these two. So I'm going to I'm going to, going to um, you know research myself so I get another turn. I'm going to mobilize, heal to full. This way, my Belladon doesn't doesn't die immediately in one turn. I'm going to try to stun the Sulfid. Just trying to make sure they. Well, I'm I'm trying to make it so they don't um, they don't stun they don't use their burst at, on the same um, at the same time, and I'm going to glancing hit the the boss this way he doesn't do that much damage. Um, didn't land, but it's fine. Uh, I'm going to actually remove his speed speed buff this way he can't you know can't get any extra speed. Um, remove this as well. He's he's going to start hitting my blood on. They're all going to start hitting my blood on. Uh, the Sylphid Spurs is coming next. It scales with his max HP, so um, it doesn't really do much to attack debuff him. I'm going to attack debuff the boss. I'm going to put more dots on this beast one. Alright, that was the new. That was the new. Um, that, that thing, that, that ball thing. Um, it doesn't look like much, but uh, if they all use it on the same turn, your Belladon can very, very easily die. So, just kind of want to spread out their damage so they don't use all their nukes on the, on the same turn. Um, so, so the boss is boss's nuke is still on cooldown. I think it's like five more turns or four more. Um, this Sylphid doesn't have her nuke anymore. Uh, this one still does. So right now, with any CC, I'm gonna try to put it on her. Uh, any single target CC, I'm gonna try to put it on her. I'm gonna heal my Belladon to try to you know, take more damage. They're all gonna be hitting Belladon. All right, here comes the Beast Monk's defend. Um, if you have a Belladon, it's also really, really useful because Belladon can remove this skill. This skill blocks all incoming damage and transfer transfers it to whoever cast this spell. Um, it doesn't work on dots, so so I'm going to I'm going to dot up up this beast monk because uh, you know, 
the, the defend doesn't stop dots. So he's hitting my belt on. Uh, she didn't go yet. I'm just gonna keep hitting him. Uh, actually, it really doesn't matter who I hit right now because the damage is gonna go to him. But uh, with my Veramos' dots, I'm still gonna stack on this beast mode. He's gonna eventually die from dots. Uh, I probably should have removed it. It was it was my bad. I made a mistake, but it's it's fine. Okay, I'm trying to stun her. Uh, get the stun, but it's fine. Heal up. I'll try to stun as many as possible. Okay, so they're all stunned. Um, since the boss already has attack debuff for another turn, I'm gonna attack de debuff this beast mode. Put glancing hit on the boss, and I'm going to remove this defend with my belt on seize. All right, he has no defend anymore. And I'm just gonna very, very easily kill this beast mode. Research self to get my heal ready. Uh, stun this self so quick because she's awake. I'm gonna put glancing hit on the other beast monk who doesn't have the, the debuff yet. And we're just gonna we're just gonna hit him. Speed buff up. Hit him some more. Uh, heal up, max HP. Slow them all down. Uh, put attack debuff on the boss again. Didn't land, but it's fine. Actually, right now, if you're confident, you can kill the other Beast Monk, or you can go straight for the boss. Uh, he already doesn't have his defend anymore. He used it on the other Beast Monk. Um, there is one danger of going for the boss. He's more likely to use this skill if you're going after him to, you know, heal up. Uh, but it's fine as long as you survive their initial burst. The first turn, um, worst case scenario, you don't stun any of them first turn. They're all awake. They use all their burst on your Belladon. Um, if your Belladon is able to survive that and heal back up, they're not going to be able to burst you at this on the same turn again. Uh, if I remember correctly, the Sylphus skill is has a higher cooldown than the boss. Uh, also, if you stun them, they're not less likely to use it on the same turn because they're going to have like different cooldown times. Uh, I'm going to research Self again to keep my heal ready. I'm going to stun the Sylphid, and then we're just going to keep hitting the boss until he well, eventually dies. Probably really bad um, right now to buff because he could probably steal it all, but I, I don't really mind because uh, I know I'm going to be able to go like one or two turns before he goes once since I have my slow on him and my uh, my speed buff on, on myself, my, my, my team. Um, right now I'm just feeling really confident. I'm going to put all my burst and uh, give Veramos even more damage. Um, and we're just going to put all of our damage on, onto the boss. I'm trying to slow them again. If he doesn't use his skill, means he's dead. And that is how you do 450. Um, if you're not confident, you can kill the other beast monk first before you go for the boss. But once you're able to kill on the beast monk, it should be pretty easy. Uh, as long as you can survive their initial burst, you, know, you can try to do it with um, by stunning a few, stunning one of the sylphids. This way, they don't, they don't use their burst at the same turn. Uh, you can do it by well, uh, you know, just having a really, really tanky light unit take that damage and, and then heal back up. There's a lot of ways to do it, but the hard part is attack debuff doesn't reduce the damage of the sylphids or the boss. That's that's the really hard part about this level. Okay, so we are going to move to 470. Uh, 470 is the light lady and a bunch of dot monsters. What you want to bring for this this stage is if you have any immunity, bring immunity. If you have any way to clear uh, debuffs like Konamiya or Veramos, you want to bring them as well. Um, have as many as possible and you should have a very very easy time in this stage. Alright, for this part, uh, focus the Light Reapers first, since they have like a very very annoying stun and armor break. Um, and since you're going to probably have some sort of um, way to clear debuffs, you know, you might as well... Um, you might as well ignore the Jokers, because you can always remove their bombs. Uh, if your team is really tanky, you can just eat their bombs, it doesn't really matter. The AI of my team is really, really, really dumb. They, they pretty much ate all the bombs. 
but it's fine. Um, I have enough heals to heal back up, no problem. So the way they made this is you want to have a lot of immunity for this. Um, you want to have some sort of immunity or, or buff there for the stage. Uh, this way your team doesn't get you know, debuffed or like bombed or stunned to death. Um, the boss part of this level has a lot of dots, so you want to be able to clear those dots. It's kind of like the dragon fight. Um, if you have a Dragon's B10 team, bring that definitely bring that for this level because four of the units that are with the boss are actually fire type. So um, you know any team that is strong for Dragon's B10 should be strong for this level. Yeah, and Veramos is especially good against um, clearing, you know, up against bombers and daughters because Veramos can clear debuffs. Um, you know, these these Sylphids have a bunch of stun. Um, immunity will be a lot better than um, than um, than like Konamiya, who cleanses debuffs, because you can you can stop stuns, you can stop those debuffs from being applied to you in the first place. Um, so it's less risky if you have immunity. Um, but it's it's definitely doable with with like Konamiya, who can clear those debuffs. Um, yeah. But I would much rather prefer immunity for this level because um, prevention is better than cure, right? <laughs> so we're just gonna kill this Sofa twice. Um, this Misha already used her revive. I'm gonna try to kill this one before she gets another turn. This way, it's just this is faster. Oh, here comes the stun train. All right, now we stun them to death. Um, I'm actually gonna hit them a few times. Um, I'm gonna try to try to heal up before I get into the next part of the level. Hopefully my Belladon can get a turn and I can heal up. Uh, or my Kona. Kona will work as well. Yeah, I should probably be full full health um, for the next part of the level. Okay, I'm gonna start out the fight, you know, the standard way. Um, going to attack Diva of the boss because she probably hits pretty hard. Um, th this level you want to go straight for the boss. You want to. They don't do that much damage besides the fire ones, armor breaking for one turn, and a bunch of dots by Beretta and both and the fire bomber and the boss. The boss has two AOE dot skills, which is pretty crazy. Um, we're gonna try to stun as many as possible. This way they, they don't they don't you know burst me in one turn. Um, I'm gonna tr try to slow them as well. Okay, they're fire type, which is probably pretty bad for my Shannon. I think he has the armor armor break. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I am not sure. Actually, I think it's the water one that has the armor break. My bad. Um, either way, either way, it doesn't really matter. Just you just want to cleanse the debuffs. Um, try to remain as, at full health. If you have Economia, resurge yourself as often as possible. This way you you can get more turns to clear debuffs. All right, here comes the dots. Quite a lot of dots. I'm gonna research myself, uh, get myself ready for you know, the, the chain of debuffs that could be coming. Um, yeah, I'm actually gonna heal up a bit now. Give myself a turn. Uh, very most hopefully he'll proc violent and then remove more debuffs. Try to stun them. This way I take less damage. Put glancing hit on the boss. This way it's less less likely for the boss to land um, her skills that put more dots on me. We'll cleanse all the buffs off Shannon. Uh, just put more damage on the boss. Attack debuff. All right, that was only one dot. Try to slow them. Didn't really slow because they're fire units. Uh, I probably should use Konamiya to attack someone else to stun them, but it's it's actually fine for me. Uh, if you have Konamiya, you might want to use Konamiya's first skill to uh, try to stun one of the units who um, didn't get stunned by 
whoever your despair stunner is or or your um, if you have any AoE stuns. Um, you use that as a heal. Uh, keep putting more damage on the boss. I'm going to actually armor buff up so they do less damage and I do more damage to them. And we're just gonna finish up the fight. And that is how you stage 70. Um, probably faster than stage 50 uh, in my opinion, but it's also more risky because they have a bunch of dots. If, and if you can't clear those dots, it could get really, really out of hand. Alright, stage 80. This this stage is really, really tricky. Um, you, I can't, I wasn't actually able to do this with my standard team. Um, you will require some sort of some sort of dots um, or some sort of DPS to take down the boss. Um, I use Theomars as my like nuker to kind of nuke down the boss. Uh, I haven't tried it with Breda because I actually didn't have Breda at the time, but I know a lot of people actually do have Breda, so I'm gonna try a team with um, with Breda. This way, this way, this team. Um, I think a lot of people should have these units. I'm not sh actually sure if I'm going to be able to take down the boss using this team, um, but I'll try. I'll try this. Actually, wait. Yeah, I'm going to try this. With my um, attack bar reduction, I'm not sure if I can make it so Veramos doesn't get enough turns. I'm gonna to try to keep the ones that aren't stunned. Um, stunned. Should actually probably kill the Dark Viking first. But attack debuff. Oh man, here comes the armor break. Okay, I'm gonna heal up. I'm going to. Actually, I'm, I'm just going to give Belladon another turn so the thing disappears and Belladon's heal can go off cooldown faster. I'm going to pep talk um, to increase my own defense so I have a higher chance of surviving. Speed buff again. Um, I'm going to research Bernard for another turn. T attack debuff, the middle one. He's already attacked Evo, so I'm gonna to try to put Glancing Hit on this one. Alright, I got a really lucky Despair Stun. And I'll just keep be putting more damage on this guy. Um, he, I'll put one more hit. I right, know, he should die from dots. Okay, he already, u they already u used their third skill. Uh, which, means, which means that they don't have any revives left. I'm going to dot again. And then this guy should die from dots. Um, this guy's got two dots on him. We'll remove the debuffs. We'll keep hitting this guy. I'll reset attack bar so he doesn't get a turn. Okay, lands because, well, he's a light joker. Really annoying. He should die from dots. I'm gonna try to despair stun this guy. Get really lucky despair stun. Um, attack debuff him so he does less damage. Now we're just gonna keep hitting them until they die. Oh my goodness. Stun. Interesting. That glancing hit stuff is really annoying. Wow. All right, this part um, is this is mainly mostly annoying. It's not really really hard. Um, you know, Brian's and Rena's they don't do that much damage. They're, they're not really a threat. Uh, they're just basically here to waste your time. I'm going to actually, I don't I don't really need to do anything. Well, I'll attack before we reset her as soon as she's not stunned. Um, but attack debuff, auto break, whatever. 
Ball Run should be next. Should be Kona is next. Send the arena so they get less turns to heal and stuff. Give. I should have handed give me one turn. I'll just research self. Just so I hit a little bit harder. Alright, so I've decided to just kill this guy first. I'm gonna try to stun the arenas. This way they don't they don't heal up the brines. It's too bad the Shannon's um, slow debuff didn't land in this arena. Or else I'd be able to kill him before before she got a turn. Actually wait, I might be able to oh I accidentally, accidentally buffed. Well it's fine. Um yeah, let's research Shannon for another turn. Back to Eagle Pin, slow them down. They, they use their fill. Uh, I'm gonna mobilize, kind of fill attack bar and get my get my team um, you know, back healthy again. Put, stack more dots on their team. Remove all all debuffs on me. And I'm gonna try to kill try my best to kill the Brines at the same time. Uh, this way they don't, you know, they, they, they do less you know, attack bar reset when the arenas. Kind of hard because the arenas are actually water and my bird is fire. Going to research Bernard for another turn. I'm going to armor, deep, armor break this guy because he actually has less dots. And we're just going to put a little bit more damage on this guy so they kind of die at the same time. Uh, I'm not sure this guy will die from two dots. Alright, now he should die. Let's try to stun the arena. He's done. He still didn't die, but it's fine. Let's slow them down. Uh, so I get more turns, and more dots and stuff. Alright, this guy, is, he's got one dot. Uh, should be able to kill him in the next turn. Attack buff. Hopefully my Beretta can get a turn before they go. Um, so I can dot them up and pretty much um, kill them before they even get a turn. Okay, so he's gonna die before he gets a turn. Um, meaning he can't revive and stuff. And now we're just gonna put as much damage on the arenas as possible. Okay, she should die from dots. Come on, you. Will you stun her to death? Alright, here comes the boss part. Uh, this fight is really, really interesting. The light towers, their passive works like this. Um, if someone is about to die, they will sacrifice part of their HP to bring that person back to 30% health unless their health, own health is lower than 30% HP. The passive doesn't proc, uh, doesn't proc uh, um, against dots, so uh, if you have dots, it's really, really good for this level. Uh, the Pernas obviously, like, you know, they revive, they heal at each turn, they hit really, really hard, not uh, so the Perna. Vermos, pretty much everyone knows, um, removes debuffs and stuns and dots, really annoying. The way you want to get through this level is to kill the Light Towers first, and then kill the Pernas, and then kill Veramos. Um, if you're really, really strong, you might be able to nuke down Veramos like really fast, but uh, it's gonna be really, really hard. So what what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on one of the towers, and I'm gonna put as much debuffs on him as possible. Um, this way, my Veramos is removed the dots, and I can put more more damage um, on them. Uh, so I'm going to armor break him. I'm going to try to slow them all down. This way, I also get more debuffs. I'm going to attack bar reset the Veramos, this way he can get a turn to you know, take, take away debuffs. I'm going to put even more debuffs on this guy. Alright, now they're, now they're damage comes. Uh, they actually don't hit that hard. They're not like arena turners that are doing you know, full attack. Uh, I think they're, they're probably just stat wise, they're just tankier. Uh, basically. So I'm still gonna try to survive. Uh, I'm gonna put up as much, um, you know, healing or uh, buffs and stuff as possible. 
and we're just gonna keep hitting the the towers. Um, try to get get him down as low as possible. Gonna research self for that that nice um, nice debuff remove. Put more debuffs on this guy. This way, my bear muscle doesn't remove the dots or the armor break. Uh, really annoying because they keep healing back up. Okay, I'm gonna heal up. I'm gonna slow them down. This fight might take a long time, uh, depending on how lucky I am, actually. Oh my goodness. Beretta actually doesn't work that well on this level. Uh, Theo Mars does like 10 times better, but it's fine. I'm gonna try to do it with Beretta. This way, um, this way most people know they can they can do it because uh, a lot of pe a lot more people have Beretta. You can definitely do it if you have Sigmaris, you know, who is also a, a fusible nuker. But I think a lot more people do have Beretta than Sigmaris. Uh, attack bar reset the bear most this way. Buff up. Okay, I don't think this is possible with Greta. Uh, I, I simply just don't do enough damage. It could be possible, but I'm, I'm not sure if it is. Yeah, they, the Perno's healed them by so much every turn. I'm trying to slow them down as much as possible, but it's, it's getting really, really hard. Got a turn. Um, we have Shannon a turn. This way, her her slow and everything uh, comes back sooner. Gonna re attack bar reset the Baramos again. This way, he can't remove debuffs. Uh, I think he already has Glass to put on. Oh no, he doesn't. It got removed. So I'm gonna put it back on him. We're just gonna try to put more damage on the towers uh, before Perna gets a turn. Try to stun this Perna. So she can hit me or he. We're just gonna put even more damage on him. Keep the slow on all enemies. Uh, try to stun this. It's really nice. Uh, gonna give Brad another turn so his his stuff for, uh, is ready for my next turn. Gonna since he already already has both debuffs on him. Um, actually, wait. I should renew it. This way, it doesn't get removed. And then I'm just gonna put as much damage. All right, he dies from dots. Uh, Meaning, meaning they're screwed. Now I'm basically just going to do the same thing to the other towers. I'm going to put stack lots of dots on him. I'm going to put a lot of armor break. Um, stack all my deals on him, and then I'm going to try to slow Veramos down and make sure uh, Veramos doesn't get a turn. So start stacking the debuffs. Uh, shouldn't attack by reset yet, so I'm going to just put more damage on him. I'm going to use Beldon's heal to bring my attack bar to full. Stun this I think it was already stunned. That was my bad. So he's getting dotted down. Try to slow the Veramos. Alright. Probably shouldn't have slowed right before he went, got a turn. Should have slowed earlier, but it's fine. Uh, heal up. Make sure my team's healthy. Defense uh, buff. I'm going to actually, yeah, I'm going to keep hitting him, speed up, armor break, uh, give Berta an another turn, stun one of the Perno so that they do less damage, stack more dots on the Taoist, um, yeah, I'm going to put glancing hit on him, so just so he has one more debuff to get removed. Uh, he doesn't even remove the dots. You want to, you want the dots to stay, stay on him as much as possible. Uh, let's, yeah, let's give Berta another turn. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack bar reset him because I know my Shannon's up next. And I'm going to try to slow Bearmos while he's his attack bar is low. It didn't work the way I wanted to because it, it didn't land, obviously. Um, but but it's fine. It's, fine. it's no no big deal. 
this light tower should die eventually. Because um, I, I I should do more damage than Pernos. Um, well, the two Pernos 10% every turn. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to keep putting damage on the light towers. The dot whenever whenever ready. I'm going to stack more debuffs. I'm going to you know, stack even more debuffs. And then we'll give Shannon another turn. Stun the Perna. I'm trying to slow them. Hopefully I can get a turn before um, before Veramos goes with my bird out. This way I can attack bar reduce attack bar um, reduce him to zero. Okay, really nice. Now I'm gonna give Bird another turn. Uh, we're just gonna put a lot of damage on this Taoist. Okay, that was bad. Hopefully he'll die this turn, um, or next turn. Come on. Come on, just die. Alright, nice. Now we kill the Pernos. Uh, this one's a little bit lower, so let's go for him first. Going to give Bernard a turn, uh, with the armor break on him. And then we're just going to keep hitting him, and we're going to kill the Pernos twice. Uh, it should be no big deal, since like the towers are dead. Uh, meaning they don't have attack bar reduction. You get more turns, uh, you should be able to kill the turn no problem. Just yeah, just put lots of lots and lots of damage on the turns. Slow them. Break them. Go up. Move. Dot. Put more damage, uh, put more debuffs, get myself back up, research self, get, my, get myself ready. Try to stun this for now. Heal up, hit dog, stun. Going to reduce his attack bar actually, uh, and then slow his gen. Give Burn another turn so he, his dot is uh, ready sooner. And then we're just gonna kill this Burn. Kill the Burn. I'm gonna have to kill him twice because you know it's Burn. Uh, hopefully I can kill him twice before he gets a he gets his revive ready again. But 11 turns. Uh, Definitely be able to do it in, in 11 turns. I'm just gonna try to put as much debuffs on him as possible. Uh, this way, this way is very very hard for Veramos to remove the armor break or the dot debuffs. It actually reduces the attack bar, so he didn't get a turn. Uh, didn't work, but it's fine. Done. Um, get Belladon a turn because everyone's attack bar is already full, so might as well put more debuffs so it doesn't move, remove the dot. Um, put even more dots on the turn up, and then I'm gonna put more debuffs on him so it doesn't remove the dots. And I think we should be able to kill kill this turn up uh, this turn. I'm not gonna take chances with the dots, so I'm just, I'm just gonna try to, you know, try to kill him. Alright, so one per now left. Uh, this should be pretty easy, like, you, you can, you know, if you're really confident, you can auto this. Just leave it. And then, yeah, just have them kill the pronouns. Come on. Alright, the Pernos should die from the dots next turn. Then we're just gonna put lots and lots of dots on the Perno. Oh, hit Veramos, hit the Perno. Yep. 
Yeah, since this part takes a little bit longer, I might as well just auto it. Um, you know, you, you, you guys already seen me kill one defense. Okay, so last part um, is trying to kill the variables. There are three ways to do it. Oh, actually, there are two ways to do it. One is to try to avoid putting debuffs on him, but I can't really do that because my whole team has like a bunch of debuffs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just go ham and I'm going to put a bunch of debuffs on this Veramos. Hopefully it doesn't remove the slow uh, attack mark though, so I get another turn. Put a bunch of dots on him. Actually, wait, he's immune to dots, so can't really do that. Give Bird another turn. Uh, try to reduce his attack bar so he doesn't get a turn. Stack even more debuffs so he doesn't remove the armor break. Yeah, we're just gonna put more damage. Um, gonna give Shen another turn. Alright, so he removed the armor one. But at the very least, he didn't remove the soul. Give Bird another turn. Um, Oh no, I need one more turn for it to be ready. I'm going to try to put the attack debuff on him so he doesn't remove the armor one or the slow. Um, he already has glancing here, so I'm going to buff up this turn. Um, I'm just going to keep hitting him. Okay, if, you do, if I do this right, I should be able to kill him eventually. Um, I'll reset one of his attack bars a little bit more full. I'll actually use this to gain myself... Um, the attack bar advantage and yeah I'm going to reset his attack bar and put armor break on him again renew the slow keep attacking him attack uh, let's see should I research but better I should research Shen so I can renew the slow actually wait I should research Breda every single time Alright, if I do this right, eventually his HP is going to drop to zero. I'm going to hit him. Speed buff up. Do the blasting hit. Do this. Do a armor break. Put this on him. Give Greta a turn. Should be able to reset him in two. Okay, make sure the slow lands. Okay, nice. The slow landed. My Greta should be able to get another turn before, before his turn. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack more Phil. Um, him. Alright, we're gonna reset this. Then we're gonna put more debuffs. Stack debuffs. Give Greta another turn. She probably didn't need to do that, but it's fine. Got a turn. Uh, he removed the attack debuff, which is really nice for me, because that's actually the one I want him to remove. Tailwind, hit him. Classic hit. Okay, try to put attack debuff. I didn't, didn't have attack debuff, but it's fine. Uh, I need one more turn before I can use his attack bar. So he's probably going to get another turn, but it's fine. Um, I'll be able to kill him eventually. So, yeah, we'll put that slow on him, armor break, uh, let's see, Should probably research Belladon for that mobilize, um, and then I'm going to reset his attack bar one last time, then he should be, I should be able to kill him this round. Finally, that was a really, really long level, but I finally finished it, um, and I didn't really bring a nuker. Um, I can't really call Brett a, a nuker, but um, if you have someone with attack bar reset, I think that's really, really useful for this level, because you can just keep res resetting um, Veramos' attack bar, and you can remove less debuffs. 
Um, yeah, and that is how you do 50, 70, and 80. Um, I will continue on with the series, so please do um, subscribe to me and um, you know follow the series. I'll be doing um, you know higher floors, and if you have any requests on which floors that I should be doing, um, any levels that you're stuck on, um, yeah, I'll be happy to do those as well. So um, until next time, uh, happy summoning and peace.